This is William Lee Adams reporting for Time.com from Amsterdam. In recent years, the beer bike, essentially a bar on wheels, has become a popular activity for tourists who hope to combine sightseeing with the occasional drink. Despite complaints from local residents, city officials have generally tolerated the beer bike and its drunken passengers. But following a series of high-profile accidents recently, the city is set to introduce new legislation that may take the beer off of the bike. Before they do, I'm here to hitch a ride to see what all the fuss is about. We've mounted the beer bike. There are 10 to 12 people here. Um, they're celebrating Mark Stagdu. He's getting married in January. Um, they've had their first drink, and everyone's sober for the moment. We're going to see how long that lasts. Focus. Um, what would your wife-to-be think about this? Uh, I think she'd love it. I think she'll take the piss out of me when she, when she, when she gets to see it. So. It's pretty tough, and you do work up a big, big, big sweat. So it's, um, yeah, yeah, it's tough work, and it's thirsty work. Well, I'm the only family member here, so I had to make, uh, make sure that someone was here being the mature, responsible one, so hence the captain's hat. Did you get seat hat? Yeah. This summer, city officials actually contemplated banning the beer bike, but after doing some research, they realized that the beer bike is classified as a bicycle, so banning the beer bike would require them to ban bicycles altogether. It seems like a real talking point around the city, so let's find out what people have to say. It looks great. It's good fun. Good fun. It's a good idea, drinking on a bike. It's better on a bike than in a car. It's like creating a stupid thing by getting people drunk on the streets. And I think you should get drunk in a bar. But Ard Karsten, the owner of beerbike.co.uk, stands by the safety of his vehicle. We have talked to the, to the local government about it and they say, yeah, just provide a, provide a driver or somebody who's look after the, the people who hop on the bike and rent it. Also, a maximum of, of beer, it's always good. I like to have the customer after the party of the beer bike keep it going and have a good time in Amsterdam, not visiting them the day after in a hospital. Every day is an experience on the bike, you know, you don't know what you see and what, what's going to happen on the bike. Caitlin, um, why are you on the bus right now? Because we're going anyway. Okay, would you like a beer? I would love a beer. Oh, lovely. This is a great experience. I think especially for our, our friend Mark, it's, it's a thing to do. Apparently that's the thing to do in Amsterdam is to go on the beer bike. So we've just finished the, the beer bike ride. Um, the 10 guys from New Zealand managed to pick up three women from America. Are you guys coming to have drinks with us later? Hell yeah, of course. <laughs> Why not? We had a splendid time. Highlight of Amsterdam 2009. For sure.